Welcome back to Toy Time, guys. This is the massive 14-inch fully posable Venom action figure. Super awesome. I customized it here by uh, connecting the little white stripes of the spider around the rib cage and adding the uh, detail to the fist as well as to the mouth part over here. You can see I painted in the crevices over there. Uh, this is the Disney Store exclusive 14-inch massively huge Venom. We are poison to you, Spider-Man. Voiced by the amazing Frank Welker, I believe, who did uh, Megatron. <laughs> Your destruction, Spider-Man, will bring us great happiness. Really, really cool stuff. Make sure to follow and subscribe for updates, guys. This is comic book artist, writer, and director Greg White from BeyondComics.tv. And check out this posability, by the way. I just want you guys to see how cool this is. Uh, full articulation here. Really, really good stuff. Uh, this is a similar body to the Disney Store exclusive Hulk figure. Uh, this thing is massive. I mean, look, look at the size of my hand. Next to this thing, it's, it's like it's tremendous, so it's really, really awesome. And I think it'll fit like excellently, like quite well with like hot toy size 12 inch figures, especially because this is like 14 inches. So it's really, really, really fun figure. Good sculpture, man. Look at that sculpt, really good stuff. Good mobility here. Uh, it feels nice too. The plastic is thick and kind of solid, almost like a uh kind of like a smoothed out wax type of feel it has a nice nice finish it's not a high gloss it's like almost like a matte with a slight sheen to it nice uh, flexibility in the ankles over here up and down a uh, slight rotation uh, rotation here secret passage we will be there Peter, wherever you go and whatever you do i love the face sculpt though it's excellent uh, interestingly enough, they do not follow the original sculpt for the eye pattern, which is hard to pick up on camera. You can kind of see it there. But I like what they did with it. I think they they proportioned it perfectly. It's one of the best Venom head sculpts I've seen in a long time. There you are, little spider. Um, again, like I was talking about earlier, the uh, customization part by connecting the uh, white. Just use some acrylic white paint on that. Um... <clears throat> it could be a little cleaner, but just wanted to get that look and feel. It's very peaceful. It's kind of like meditation when I customize and paint stuff. But what a great figure. And for size comparison, you can see the 11-inch tall, I guess this is about 11 inches, uh, Wolverine action figure next to it. It's really massive. Correction, he is 15 inches tall, this awesome Venom figure. Really, really nice. Uh, way back in the day, like... God, it must have been like 15 years ago or more. They made this awesome vinyl Venom figure that looked just like Todd McFarlane's Venom, which was really great as well. And that one was a little bigger. I think it was like about 16 inches. But uh, the articulation was, it was much less articulation. So not since then have I seen like um, them do a Venom figure like, like this. I mean, this massive and this big. Um, they've come out with some really nice head sculpts uh, on the 7-inch, 6-inch figures, too. But, wow, this is great. I wish they would have just connected that there so I didn't have to paint it. But I think the paint came out pretty decent. Um, anyway, guys, make sure to check out my other awesome toy reviews, including the Inspector Gadget toy review, which is the die-cast metal transforming Inspector Gadget car. That's right, that's in my other videos, as well as the Dr. Claw mobile that transforms as well from jet to plane to submarine, and the extremely rare 1989-1990 Batman, that's right, from the 1989 Tim Burton film with Michael Keaton that transforms into the Batmobile. So there's a lot of good toy reviews here. You can see some of the stuff. This has been comic book artist, writer, and director Greg Wyke. That's me from beyondcomics.tv coming at you live and direct. Please make sure to subscribe and follow for updates. We're also running a cool contest where you could have a chance at being drawn as being, <clears throat> being drawn as a character in my comic book. Just go to beyondcomics.tv to check it out. And over here you can see some of my characters, Ravidactyl and Codename Justice. Wow, I'm right there. Pretty massive stuff, life size, fully posable. This is a costume, <laughs> so it's pretty good. And my new action figure, 
Cleo, as well as Tricity, which is coming out right now. So please, Joe, to be check out. Check, I can't speak. I'm so tired. Check it out at BeyondComics.tv and make sure to subscribe and follow for updates. And as they say in comic books, to be continued. Peace.